Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time is important to me. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to talk gear ratios. You know, it's a topic that's kind of misunderstood and confusing sometimes. So what I'm going to try and do, because I've had a number of questions here on the channel and from some buddies of mine too that fish, um, about when and how I use certain gear ratios. So I'm going to try and break that down for you guys today. Stick around. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay guys, let's jump into this gear ratios. You know, it can be a topic that's misunderstood or sometimes confusing, but I want to try and make it easy for you guys and just real simply explain what gear ratio is and then how I use those particular types of gear ratios. You know, this is not set in stone, but I found it over the years it's worked really, really well for me on how I apply the different gear ratios on my different reels to the fishing applications that I'm using them for. So we'll start with this, for example, this, this quantum accuracy reel, just to explain it. Uh, this has a gear ratio of 6.3 to 1. So all that means is for every complete revolution of the handle, so each 360 degree revolution of this handle, that spool is going to spin 6.3 times. So 6.3 revolutions for every turn of the handle. And that's what a gear ratio is. So if it's a, a 5, 4 to 1 or if it's an 8, 2 to 1, that's how many times that spool is going to spin for each revolution of the handle. Now what we'll do is we'll get into some different gear ratios and what they do. So we'll start with this accuracy here we were just talking about. It's a 6.3 to 1. To me, that's a middle of the road gear ratio. You know, you have really three different types of gear ratios. Your slow, your medium, and your high speed or your high end. Um, if you're just getting started in bait casters or you just want a reel that's all around you know, purpose, all around technique, I would suggest something in the low to mid sixes, um, six, three to one, six, four to one, something like that um, is a really good all purpose reel. But what, how I normally decide what type of gear ratio I'm gonna use. For example, you saw on this one I had a square belt tied on that I was using the other day throwing up in timber because it's the first part of the fall here um, and I like to throw those square bills, spinner baits, chatter baits and stuff in the timber and um, I had this paired up with this 6-3 to 1. Okay so what I normally do is I pair up my gear ratio with whatever technique that I'm doing and an easy way to remember it is I, I think if you're fishing a technique for example like this crankbait or it could be a chatter bait or a spinner bait, something like that where the reel is doing the majority of the work for you. Not that you don't impart action on the lure with the rod because you do, but the majority of the work's being done with the reel. That's when I go with a medium speed gear ratio. So like on this reel, a 6.3 to 1 or maybe a 6.5 to 1 or even up into the low 7s. Uh, I have another accuracy, it's a 7.0 to 1. I still consider that a medium speed. Uh, anything in the low sevens is medium, but any any time you're going to be using a technique where you're letting the lure uh, be worked by the reel more than the rod, that's when I go with those medium gear ratios. Seems to fit really, really well. Now, on the other hand, when I go to a higher speed reel, for example, oops, bumped it on the top here. I don't want to do that. This Shimano SLX, um, I got this one in 8.2 to 1. And the reason I got it in a higher gear ratio, um, I have a chatter bait on here because the other day I was actually burning it because I saw some shad busting. But I usually use these high gear ratios um, when I'm working any, time, working any kind of bait that the rod is doing the majority of the work. So if I'm throwing, for example, a creature bait and, you know, with a flipping weight on it and I'm pitching that up in timber, I'm working that through with the rod and I need a higher speed reel to catch up with that slack line or that loose line that I've got on there. Or if I'm working, say for instance, top water, you want to burn a buzz bait or you're working a frog through lily pads or through some type of floating vegetation and you've got those long pops and then you've got that slack line. Anytime you want to catch up with a bunch of that line really quick, that's when I use those high speed reels. I consider high speed anything that's eight and above. I mean, they make them, I've seen them as high as, they're in the mid nines. I'm sure there's some, some gear ratios out there now and some reels that are running in the tens. Um, I don't use anything quite that fast, but I do use um, some that are in the mid eights, like low to mid eights, like this reel here, uh, because that's when I normally will hook that up with a technique 
where I'm letting the rod do the majority of the work for me. So whether you know I'm using a stick worm, I'm fishing a, a jig and trailer, um, or like we mentioned before, um, if I'm burning some type of topwater bait, that's when I'm going to use a higher gear ratio reel. So lastly, we'll get into the lower gear ratio reels. Uh, something that's maybe a 5.2 to 1, 5.4 to 1. There's even lower. The times that I will use that are if I'm fishing deep water and especially deep diving crankbaits and I want to have that torque, I want to have that, um, that cranking power to get that lure down there and then also to pull that fish out of that deeper water. Uh, I don't use low speed reels a ton. Uh, I have a couple, but those are normally the techniques that I use them for. Now with all these reels in mind, the medium speed for any time that you're fishing the lure that the reels doing the majority of the work on that lure, or a high speed and any time you're using a lure that the rod does the majority of the work, or the low speed for the deep cranking. You know, there's always exceptions to all those rules. Uh, for example, you know, just the other day I was out to see Shad Bustin and uh, I found that a high speed reel and burning these chatterbaits or a spinnerbait with a high speed reel is a really good fall technique. It's a really good summertime technique too, but I've had even better luck with it in the fall. Um, so there's no hard and fast rules when it comes to gear ratios. My suggestion is if you have a number of different reels with different gear ratios, experiment with those on the different types of lures and techniques that you like to fish and that work well for you and you can start to find gear ratios that fit those techniques and those tactics uh, more specifically and will actually improve your catch rate and will improve your fishing overall. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video today. Got something out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button down there as well as that like button. You hit the bell notification button, you get notified each time I upload new videos to YouTube. Um, and also leave me a comment down there. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. And remember, we're going to have a video coming up here pretty soon and we're going to do a 2000 sub giveaway uh, probably have that coming up within the next couple weeks as well so remember until that next video comes out get out there and fish <laughs>